LA Police Gear Medical Gear Pouch. Those of you that have been around my channel for a while may know that I work in the ER and I try and be prepared for emergencies. I have a get home bag that I keep in my car and in my get home bag, one of the things that's in there is an IFAC, an individual first aid kit, such as this, that I have some various medical supplies in it. Sometimes I am admittedly not motivated if I'm switching cars to move that backpack between cars and I therefore have nothing with me. So I recommend all of you, after you watch this video, stop whatever you're doing, buy one for each of your cars, buy it for your kids' cars. Someday you may appreciate it, or even if, if you don't have any medical experience, you don't need medical experience to do simple stuff like put pressure on a wound, or you can call for help and maybe a medical person shows up and you can say, hey, here, here's some medical stuff I have. You know, take what you need from here and try and do some stuff for the, the injured person. So that little soapbox out of the way. Now, one of the things of the other IFAC that I carry that I don't love is that it's not very medical looking, right? If you go into my bag, you see this and you don't know that this is my medical pouch. Say, I'm hurt. I mean, I know it's what it is, but if you're in my bag, you don't know what this is. This thing, there is no mistaking. If someone goes in your bag or someone sees it somewhere, they know this is medical stuff. This bag is $17.99. It does come in four colors, black, coyote, OD green, and my favorite, the red. I recommend the red because red for medical, and it has that nice little cross on it to signify some more medical stuff. Okay, enough of my excitement over all that. The size on this, 7.75 inches by three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And let's have a look around the outside. On the front here, there's some hook and loop, comes with that patch. On the back here, kind of some innovative stuff. There are two ways that if you wanted to attach this to something, you can. There are some straps here. You can put this through some pals or molly webbing. You can do that. Or alternatively, if you want to stick this to the inside of something, this piece comes off. There's hook and loop here. And you can just take this and stick it to the inside of a bag or the outside of a bag and just mount it right there. And again, it will be obvious what this is. Now there are some zippers on the side here and there's a carry handle on the top and you can take your time getting into this if need be, but what if you are in a, oh my God, I gotta do something right now. I need to get to the stuff in here. They have made it so you just grab this little piece right here and you are in there. And here's the inside of it. Let's have a look at some of the way this is organized in here. A few of the things I have in here. Israeli bandage and some compressed gauze. When you open this, you can take this and you can hang it by something if need be with this top handle and then there are pockets in here so that stuff will not fall out. And let me show you how this is organized on the inside here. There's lots of different pieces of elastic here that you can stick stuff through if you want. Also up on the bottom here, there's, well, this would be on the bottom if you're hanging it, but there's a little piece of paracord there if you need to hang something from that. There's a pocket here in mine. Again, it's a matter of how much do you want to carry. A little aluminum finger splint. You definitely want to carry some gloves, some nitro gloves in my case. Then down in this pocket, I have some small stuff, some band-aids, some stereo strips, bacitracin, things like that. And that'll tuck down to that pocket. Also on the inside of this pocket, there is some more elastic right there. Tuck that down in there. Another way, some scissors. That's that. Up on the top here again, Lots of more big pieces of elastic, an ace wrap, some Coban, a cat tourniquet, big pieces of elastic here. Again, another pocket. In this pocket, you can keep some things like some quick clot type gauze, some Tegaderm, some four by fours, lots of options for stuff you can keep in here. And there's another cord right here to do, I'm not sure what with, but it's there. And then you can, Neatly, because if you're going to open it in that emergency like that, stuff may go flying, so just be aware of that. So you can take the stuff and kind of lock it in here, keep it from going anywhere, and that'll keep it nice and out of the way. And then you can seal it by just putting that back there, fixing the Velcro, the hook and loop up on the top there, and then nice big zipper pulls on here. You can close up on each side. So there you go, like I said, stop whatever you're doing, go and buy one of these for each of your cars, each of your kids' cars, get some medical stuff, it's not that expensive. Someday it may potentially save your life or you may have some simple things, you just need some band-aids, but I recommend one of these. Check it out, the LA Police Gear Medical Gear Pouch.